Happy Sunday, Setus. Another bank, Deutsche Bank, is in trouble. Is the US interest rate too high for the banks to handle? Are we heading to a global recession? Remember, back in 2008, that was the time that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency were developed. Now, during this banking crisis, could this benefit the cryptocurrency market? Every Sunday, I spend a couple of hours of my time to plan technical trading and share my view for the whole market. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any trading opportunity. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jake from Simple Elite Traders. Our mission for the channel is to simplify the financial market and hopefully more people can learn and benefit from it. Every Sunday we share our view and trading opportunity. However, there's something more that we can take your trading to the next level, which is our simple trading program, which we will show you how we trade the live market. We'll invite you to come to live trading event and also show you our trading system as well. If you'd like to join, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and use the link in the description or I'll put it in the pinned comment that you can join through the link. We we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Okay, as usual, I'm going to start off with the S&P 500. On the left hand side is the SPY, which I'm going to use trading view. I have a pro account so I can track all the data such as the accumulation distribution line. It's very important that you have a pro account. I'll drop a link in the description if you'd like to join the uh, trading view pro account. OK, on the right hand side is my trading broker IG. Both of them, I use it to get a better picture of what is S&P 500 doing. OK, so you can see on uh, Wednesday here, that is the Fed meeting bar. So we had the rate increase. So we got a bit of sell off. Thursday, we had a doji. I did want to go long, but it didn't go successful. Friday, we have a bullish bar. OK, I think the best way to um, to trade this is you can see we have a inverted oh that's too big one second we have an inverted head and shoulder is a reversal pattern okay so price if price break above this fall to stay above this area i'll look to be a buyer okay so th this is the picture of her uh, spy i will use my ig broker to see same thing you can see we have a inverted head and shoulder on the daily Perhaps I will drop down to a four hours. Very interactive to use, very easy. Just drop down to four hours. You can see a much clearer picture that the shoulders here, the head is here and the right shoulder arguable a bit higher. So this is also coincide with the monthly pivot PIV here. Pivot acts as a extra layer of support resistance. So I do use that a lot. I like to see price break above this. Oh, maybe not so high. So break above and then stay above this 4,000 area to be a buyer of S&P 500, okay? We've, um, the other indice is NASDAQ is much more bullish than um, an S&P 500. The tech sector seems to be um, benefiting from uh, this um, potential lower interest rate environment you know we know the fed is not dropping interest rate yet but they're slowing the raising of the interest rate which is uh, benefiting this so we are now ranging around this area break above the 13,000 area would open a lot of room to that let me show you if you um very simple use IG, very interactive. Go to roll it out. You can see we have a big void, like a room to, to go to. So break above 13,000, stay above. I would like to take it to around 15,000 area. How do we trade that? If you become a member of our um, simple trading program, then we will share our trading idea or like when we open the price, how do we trade? Like very simple, say for instance, I want to open a trade, I don't know, 13,000 and then I want to buy. I'll put it into our group and then you can see, okay, target is here just under 15,000. 
then bam, that's how we uh, share our trading idea on that, okay? But ultimately, I still want to be a buyer on um, on the NASDAQ and also on uh, S&P 500. So the, unless it breaks below this 3,800 on S&P, which I don't think it's, uh, it's likely, then I will remain a buyer on the stock indice, okay? Dow Jones Industrial is not as clean, arguable, we rejected this area. So I like to see, you know, it stay above the 31,700 area and continue to, to break higher on, uh, on Dow Jones Industrial, okay? But I'm not looking to actively trade that. I'm more S&P and NASDAQ trader. Russell as well, we have a low test bar on Friday, strong reversal, we are again rejecting the support level i like to see price break above the 1800 and continue to go higher on russell so i like to use all the asset class in the same sector to give me a better chance of winning okay so make sure you if you want to trade s p 500 make sure you have a look what is nasdaq's doing down Jones and russell okay other indices you may want to trade but i'm not really keen so but you can see the european indices again on friday we have a strong reversal if you drop down to four hours you can see a potential inverted head and shoulder on dax as well shoulder head shoulder so i said potential until it breaks above 15,400. it's just a potential head and shoulder inverted head and shoulder okay moving on to forex forex space is um first thing you need to do when you trade forex you need to know what the dollar index doing because this is king of forex if you do not know what the king of forex is doing your chances of winning on forex is becoming a lot thinner so, so we do have a confirmed daily downtrend okay so lower high lower low okay so currently we are in phase two phase two meaning is the pullback like this i like to see price come to around the monthly pivot area give you the exact price which is around 10344 area and show a rejection then i will continue to sell dollar there's only two pairs that is in my interest to uh, sell the dollar against euro is one of them uh you can see let's go up to daily first uh it has a tendency to uh do a double bottom so i expect prices may do this right here so come back a little bit lower range for a couple of days middle of next week take it long on uh, euro dollar again if you are a member of us we will show you when we're going to take the trade and beside next tuesday we will have a live trading event on uh, the us market 1 30 uk time if you are in asia should be a couple of hours ahead of us which is great i think if you're working nine to five trading the us hours in in asia it's fantastic i've done it multiple time when i'm back home in hong kong and singapore it's great all i have to do is just stay you know around eight nine o'clock to trade the uh, the US market, which I love. So Forex is, uh, yeah, Euro dollar around 107 is the area that I like to buy, but uh, let's see, you know, how many days it range around this area, okay? Pound is another pair that I like to buy, but it could go down a little bit more to around this one to one area, you can see the support level and also the EMAs will add the 20 and 50 EMA will act as a um, extra layer. So let's see, we'll pull back for a bit and correlate with other dollar pairs for me to go long on pound. So this is the only two pairs that I am in an interest to, to buy. Potentially dollar yen, but I probably will um, buy gold. But let me explain to you because currently, yes, we do have a downtrend, you can say and i would like to see a pullback to around this monthly pivot 134 area to sell the dollar against the yen but i think most likely i will trade gold which now i'm going to talk about gold right now the reason being is said i want to buy gold against the the dollar because i'm going to show you something really good function on ig because if you trade 
uh, you, you sell the dollar against the Japanese yen because yen has no interest whatsoever. And now the US has 5% interest. It makes the swap quite high. So basically when I sell the US dollar, I have to pay a daily interest fees to uh, because of the difference interest compared to the Japanese yen. But if I do trade gold, yes, if you trade it in a normal spot contract, you do have, but look at this here. On IG, that's the future contract right here. So if I select June right here, you can trade that and the uh, the spread is still exactly the same as spot if I remember it right, but you don't have to pay like daily interest to trade gold. So that's why I would prefer to trade gold. That's the only reason. If you do have any question about swap or spread, drop me a comment. I will invite you to a live trading event on how to operate IG. We're intending to do that once a month. So that way you can um, understand how to trade spread trading more, okay? So let's go back to the chart, right? So we know that we have some bullish run, but arguable we may have a double top at the moment. So in here, so I'd like to see a little bit of retracement, maybe back to the 20 EMAs around this area. I'll give you the price. I think it's about 1920, something like that. And look for good price action to take go long back to the previous weekly swing high which is i think it's 2060 something like that in the area yeah 2070 2060 70 would be the profit target but look for retracement first and then the right price action okay silver is on the list as well but i probably will use it as a reference it's a clean level the monthly pivot around the 22 area coincide with the ema or crossover so look for a pullback stay above this area then yeah you could trade silver if you like but if you see the price sections a lot more wicks or than, than gold so a lot of wicks in there so not as clean therefore i will use that as a reference to trade gold long okay so that's the plan oil we did see more selling but now it's not the nicest area to take action around this area certainly the selling momentum is easing off so maybe come back to around the 76 area could consider to be a seller of oil okay so that's all for the commodity finally is cryptocurrency let's have a look at bitcoin first like I said at in the intro, we are seeing a lot of banking crisis at the moment. But remember, back in 2008, Bitcoin was developed to, uh, you know, as a payment system without the third party, right? So now the banking crisis could that benefit that? Um, certainly, maybe. Uh, let's have a look at the um, what well, we're monthly R2, R3. So it is an extra layer of. Uh, resistant at the moment but it is now end of march so it will become less significant so the, the pivot will probably step up next month will definitely step up to around maybe 26 27 000. so i like to see price range here for not much longer and continue to break higher okay i said early part of the year on my social media on my private group said i'm buying bitcoin so i have been buying bitcoin around this 22 000, 21 22 000 area so now i'm in profit you know and uh, i'm just managing the trade i'm happy to keep it until things confirm you know i have multiple indicator multiple sort of um way of managing my trade if you'd like to learn more just join my private trading group. I'll show you how I manage my trade, okay? Finally, Ethereum. Uh, actually, Ethereum has a stronger commitment of trade than data, but uh, I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's a bit advanced, but looking at price action, very similar, is ranging at the moment. I have been buying around this 1500, 1600 area, so that's okay with me at the moment. I like to see price range not much longer, continue to break higher. And then I will use my technical analysis, price action and other indicator combined for my profit target. Okay, so that's all. A bit of recap. I still want to be a buyer of the stock in the sea. I want to be a seller of the US dollar, but there's only two pairs is on my eyes, is euro or the British pound. Dollar yen, I probably use it as a reference to go long on gold. So I do still want to be a buyer on gold. 
oil i wait for pre back to around 76 area to be a seller and then cryptocurrency happy to continue to be a buyer until confirmed otherwise if you do have any questions drop me a comment otherwise happy trading healthy investing thank you very much